Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life. Today we are cooking up accessibility. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> no, we're not going with that. Today we're talking about accessibility in the kitchen. How about that? That's better. All right, hang on. We'll be right back. Today on the channel, I am featuring the brand new Amazon Smart Oven. This is a four in one microwave oven that was released in 2019 and has a lot of great accessibility built in. It pairs up with Amazon's personal assistant, which I've learned my lesson and I will not be saying her name uh, in the video. <laughs> but actually I won't need to say her name because there's a button on the microwave that triggers your paired device. As I said, this is a four in one microwave oven. It is a microwave, a convection oven, an air fryer, and a food warmer. And the vast majority of its operations can be done with your voice paired up with your Amazon Echo. That's what makes this thing such a great option for the VIP. In this video, we're mainly gonna talk about the accessibility features of the Amazon oven. If you would like to learn about operation and performance, there are several really good videos available on YouTube. First things first, how much is it? Hello. How much is the Amazon Smart Oven? Amazon Smart Oven, convection oven, microwave, air fryer, and food warmer. It's $249.99 on Amazon. Whenever you order the oven, you actually get an Amazon Echo Dot for free. It comes with the oven. So that's what, like a $30 value right there. Then another option you can choose is they will also provide a free braille overlay for the control pad here on the oven. It's specifically designed for this oven, fits right on perfectly braille indicator on every single button, but they also still have the button labeled for visual users. If you're not going to use a braille overlay, this braille overlay, I definitely would recommend using some kind of bump dots, puff paint, something to mark the touchpad here because it's not the most low vision friendly. There are only two tactile marks on here, tactile indicators. The Amazon assistant button is raised. And then just below that, there is a little bump on the five, but that's it. Those are the only tactile indicators of a button. So let's talk about setup and how to use the oven along with the Amazon Echo. Setup was very easy. You just install the You Know Who app on your phone, go through that to add a new smart device. And in this case, it's under the oven section. There is a QR code just inside the door here that you scan with the camera and that will pair the oven up to the app. Then you just simply choose which Amazon Echo device you want to pair it up to. You can use this one or you can use one that you already have. And from there on out, it's done. That's about it. The two are connected and can communicate to each other. Now, because this does multiple things, you get some accessories in the box. First thing you get is a food thermometer. And what's really cool is this connects on the inside. There's a port in there that you plug this into, and then this sticks into your food. Say you're making chicken or steak or pork chops, something like that. You can set this in there and then the oven will monitor the cooking. So it really takes the guesswork out of preparing some of those dishes like chicken. Chicken's a big one for me. With this thermometer, you can stick it in and just tell the oven to cook the chicken and it will automatically stop once it reaches that desired temperature. Now, I don't know about you guys, but one thing I use my microwave for all the time is to reheat coffee. And it's super easy with the Amazon oven here. Just set it in. And I can use the trigger word, uh, but for you guys, I'll just push the button here. Reheat one cup of coffee. Microwaving one cup of coffee. The microwave automatically starts. We get a little verbal confirmation from the echo. 
and very soon we will have a nice piping hot cup of coffee. Preheat oven to 350 degrees. Preheating first oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Press start on your first oven to begin. So I love that aspect of it. I can just tell it to preheat the oven. Visually on the display here, it's showing what the current temperature is inside the oven as it rises. If I wanna check what that is, I can do that. I can do that verbally. What's the current temperature of the oven? Okay, at what temperature? Cancel. Canceling. How hot is my oven right now? It's convection baking. <laughs> uh, so the trick with this, just like all uh, Amazon Echo interactions, is you gotta find the right words. That's really been the only learning curve to this, is finding out the right things to say. Once you find out the right things to say, the right terminology, oh, it works great. <laughs> but finding that out is, has been very difficult. Now, I will say that there are resources online. Um, you can go to the website and it has a whole list of everything you can say to the oven. So if this was gonna be something you picked up and something you were gonna use quite often, I would definitely recommend that. Now, one thing else to note about this is that it cannot be mounted above a stove top. So here in my house, I have a microwave above my oven and unfortunately I would not be able to put this in that location. Uh, it also has restrictions on how high above it something can be placed. Um, they say 12 inches, although I've seen it differently in some review videos. Uh, but the main reason is because the top gets pretty warm when you're using the oven feature. Now it can be mounted in cabinets though because on Amazon you can even purchase a mounting kit. It doesn't come that way in the box, so it's an extra charge for that kit. All right, so in order to show you guys what it can do, I figured I would make some cookies. So first things first is I need to melt this butter. Microwave for 30 seconds. Microwaving for 30 seconds. That's hello. What's the current temperature of my first oven? It's at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And it actually just finished. <laughs> Your oven is preheated. All right, she just told me the oven's preheated. Now we just put the cookies in. Oh yeah, that's warm. Try to do this without burning myself. Okay, we got it. Bake for 10 minutes. Convection baking for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. All right, and we are good to go. In the microwave on the roof, there's a heating element, and when it's in convection oven mode, that heats up and the fan in the back circulates the warm air. Ah, sounds like the cookies are done. And not only do I get the beep and the Amazon Echo tells me, but I also get a notification on my phone. It tells me that the oven is preheated and my food is ready. Something else that's pretty cool you can do with the app is scan to cook. And what that is, is you can scan the barcode of select items and it will automatically tell the oven how to cook that food or that meal. It's a really cool feature that could be very helpful for us, but uh, the only drawback is that the selection of items is kind of small right now. There's some whole food items, some Marie Calendar meals, and a few others, and that's really about it. Uh, for a full list of items that you can scan, be sure to check out the Amazon website. Now, let's go ahead and see how our cookies came out. Okay, looks like our cookies are done. So let's see how it looks. Oh yeah.
Ooh, yep, they are done. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about the new Amazon Smart Oven and specifically how it can be useful for the visually impaired. If you would like information about this, I'll have a link to it in the description down below. Huge thank you to Amazon for reaching out and sending me this oven for this review video. Thank you to you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know if you need anything in the comments down below. I'll do my best to help out. Subscribe, turn on notifications, all that. As always, Sam with the Blind Life. I'll see you next time. I'm going to eat some more cookies. <laughs>